Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, in order for a series to converge, it, the limit of this must head towards zero. The limit of this must head towards zero. Uh, so our normal routine would be um, would be to uh, to our normal routine would be to check that the limit of this equals zero. But looking at this, we can't easily tell at first glance. So let's let's just ignore this step because we we can't really tell at first glance. Normally you can just glance at it and tell, but here it's a bit it's a bit more difficult. So uh, so let's just jump to the, well here you've got a factorial. When you've got factorial, think about the ratio test. So here we, we we're going to use the ratio test. So to use the ratio ratio test, you need to compute this value here. So your your a n a n plus one, which would be this, um, and then divided by that means you you multiply by the reciprocal of this, which would be this. So here you've got n factorial at the bottom. Here you've got n factorial at the top. And by the way, um, we want the absolute value. But if if you look at this from n to sorry from one to infinity. This will always be positive. This will always be positive, making the whole thing always positive. Well, this thing here, from one to infinity, it will always be positive. So we can ignore the absolute sign. That will then take us to here. So now it's just a matter of us evaluating this. So, um, so hang on. So uh, rewrite this. Rewrite this as one block multiplying another block. So now, uh, now it will cancel out with this. And then, uh, and then move this across to over here. Okay, so, so basically, this will cancel out with this, giving you, giving you this. And then, and then move this over to here. Because you, you want to group the, uh, 100 and the 100. So that you can, uh, you, well, so that you, so that will, it will, it will allow you to write it like this. And then, uh, and then, well, this stays the same. So now it really boils down to one block. Multiplying another block. Well, the limit of this as n heads towards infinity is, um, is zero. But then what is this? Um, well, we, we, we now, we, um, we need to know the limit of this as n heads towards infinity. This is fixed, but everything else moves. Um, we know that it's, well, if, if you're unsure, then, then set it to be this. We, we, we're trying to find the limit of this as n heads towards infinity. So let's this thing here be y. So let it be y and then hang on. And then a natural log both sides. So this hundred will come down here. That will then give you this. Natural log, natural log of this thing, of this thing. So now uh, now you've got one thing um multiplying with another thing. So as n heads towards infinity, this thing here will will um will well this this thing here will head towards one. Natural log of one will be zero Zero times one hundred, uh, it will be zero. So here, everything's legitimate. So everything's legitimate. Nothing breaks down. So uh, so this whole thing here equals zero. So so natural log of uh, y equals zero. So e e equally to both sides. So e this side, e this side. That will then give you this. Um, so so these two in a way cancel out, uh, giving you y, and then uh, then this will be one. So so as it turns out, the the limit of this block here is equal to one. So going back to where we were earlier, we were here where where it was one block multiplying another block. Um, this thing here turns out to be zero. This thing here turns out to be one. So uh, so one times zero it will be zero. So so this thing here is one. This thing here is zero. So the limit uh, the limit is zero. So going back to the very very uh, beginning, we were trying to determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. We would then use a ratio test. When it comes to the ratio test, we needed to compute this value. Well, this value turns out to be to be uh, zero. Now, remember, when it comes to the ratio test, if this value here, if this value here is less than one, then we can immediately immediately conclude that it's going to converge. If it's greater than one. Uh, then, then we we can immediately com uh, we can immediately conclude that it's going to diverge. If it's one, then it's inconclusive. But in our case, it e this value in our case here, this value here turns out to be zero. So zero zero is less than one. So we can conclude that 
the series will converge. So this series will converge. Okay.